all right so let's just jump right into it all right another questions from you guys here we go if you are constantly putting images in your head how can you detach from it all right so let's let's answer this and show you how it works so if you know anything about manifesting or creating your reality you have to have two phases you have to be able to be detached from the outcome and then you have to be able to expect what you desire or whatever you want to manifest and come into your external reality so here's what you need to know the first of all all right number one did you know that you can see your brain yeah you know your brain is encapsulated in the skull right man how can I see my brain if my brain is is uh, encapsulated in a skull your eyes your eyes are your brain they are known as the central nervous system you know did you know that vision isn't in the eyes vision is in the brain let me show you how it works and we're going to tie this in because it's very important for you to understand this all right so what happens is light known as photon hits your eyes your eyes have what's called photoreceptors in the back of your eyes these photoreceptors what they do is they convert that light into electricity and the brain produces the image of your world so it literally means produces the image of your world so it literally means you don't we tend to create with the brain okay and what is the brain a receiver okay and what how we create reality with the brain if we're creating reality with our brain that means whatever we see in our head eventually what becomes what our physical world so you have to now understand now, oh my goodness whatever I see in my head all the time is gonna come reality okay now how do I release the resistance here's how you're gonna release the resistance and I'm gonna talk about what resistance is remember this okay in order for you to get what you want you have to be able to see it in the mind that's not the issue here here's the issue we face when we see something in our head our ego comes in and then tries to figure out how or when all you have to do to fix this is stop trying to figure out how or when the universe is telling you it's not your job so whatever happens is it's okay to do it attachment is when you visualize in something in your head and you're saying oh my goodness I wonder how it's gonna happen or should it come this way or number one number two attachment is when you're trying to visualize the outcome in a specific way whenever you're going to do something or visualize something in your head guys see it in the end that's it don't see any type of how you're going to get just see it happening in the end that's the key to release the resistance it's very interesting right to, to know that that's why we all have the ability to use our imagination because we see in our brains fascinating how many people know that that your eyes aren't how you see they're just receptors think about this guys in your brain that means whatever you're seeing right now in your external reality is conjured up by your subjective view of the world you are the creator of all of this what your experience is is connected with other creators other collective consciousness and we all form this bubble and it becomes our reality but you can spit off your bubble and create your own world by what you constantly think about but be, be, remember that be careful when you when you think about something don't try to figure out how you're gonna to get to something or when you're gonna get to something here's why you want to do that because when you do that you cut off the creative part of the creative process you cut off your subconscious or unconscious mind to create and manifest your subconscious is the gateway to help you to manifest when we do that we enter into the conscious mind which is very limited so again I'll answer this question and I'll put it to you like this you can imagine as much imagery all day all night as long as you don't ponder on how or when it's gonna come you won't create any resistance you will create resistance if you imagine all day all night and you start to wonder how or when it's gonna come that's when you create resistance so for anyone out there learning to manifest or create their world this is how you do now remember I use this to win the lottery a lot of times and I can do it over and over this is how reality works and so let me give you a quick schooling on how reality works alright so you can get this in, so you can really lock it in and see how this stuff works 
Number one is everything comes into our universe through light photons. These photons have particles. These particles, they stimulate your retina. It goes into the visionary cortex. Your brain uses electrostimulus, electrobiological chemical signals, push back out based on what you see. Also, what you see and what you feel are energetic patterns of vibrations. They're called waves. Reality is created through waves of frequencies and energy. These energy transponds and they go into our brain and our brain decodes them in signals and then our brain fascinates or facilitates images and we see our world. That's how you create your world. You create your world through your imagination often. Now, now how do I bring the imagination into reality? Here's how you do it. You have to constantly repeat it. You have to do it over and over. The more you see something without the resistance that I just explained to you, the more it starts to create into reality. So how does that come into reality, Mark, if I keep seeing it? Here's the process. It is called critical mass. Right, so what is critical mass? Okay, critical mass is when you concentrate a, a condensed amount of energy. Anytime you put energy, a uh, condensed amount of energy onto something, it either has to expand or blow up. That's how the Big Bang happened, concentrated energy, and we came into this universe, a part of the universe. So it basically means the more energy you put to something, the more it stretches and comes into the 3D reality because you put in energy and energy has to expand, right? Remember now, you can't create or destroy energy, only can, can transform. So this is how this works. So the act of you repeatedly visualizing, thinking about the thing you want in the end without the resistance, without how or when, your concentrated energy and then that energy is going to build because it's a, it's a law when the energy build it has nowhere else to go and it's going to explode and that's when you see it in the physical 3d world it comes from other dimensions and pops into your world it's just like anything you're doing if anything takes amount of energy you you, you want to start your car you have to have the battery charge your amount of energy to spark it if you put something out in the sun and you leave it out there let's say you put something in the hot sun the hot sun, the energy is going to burn it and it'll blow up or it'll catch on fire. Same thing when you're going to create or manifest. The more you repeat something in your mind, you're going to put it in and it's going to create critical mass and voila, you will manifest it. See how that works? So let's do a quick review so you can get it again. I'll make it very simple for you. You should be able, you should visualize everything you want. You can do it consistently. Stay out of how or when. Okay, my ego is going to come in. When it comes in and try to figure out how or when, you can actually talk to your ego. Okay? How do I talk to my ego? Just like how you talk out loud. You talk out loud. The ego says, if you're visualizing something, the ego says, man, how are we going to do this? When is it going to happen? Just say these magical words. Here's the magical words. Say, hey, it's not our job to find out how or when. Our job is to basically see it happen. Just say those words. And watch our ego with us fade away. Because it's really true. That's why you have two different minds. You have a, a, a relative mind. You have a very high mind, which is going through your subconscious mind. You use your relative mind, which is the ego, for this world, for this 3D world, because it's limited. You use your absolute, powerful, God-given, I am, whatever you want to call that mind, higher self mind, to bring things from other dimensions so you can experience it in this dimension. And that's very simple, guys. So always remember this. Visualize as much as you want, but never ever try to figure out how or when you're going to release it. All right, another, another part of the question someone asked me, and I address it here too, is, Mark, what is resistance? Okay, resistance is basically an energy, the same form. What resistance basically is, is your ego getting in your way. That's all it is. Resistance is the conscious mind trying to take over for the subconscious mind but his conscious mind is not aware that it's a limited mind and it's trying to fix your world for you and this is why you never get results because even your conscious mind doesn't know that it can't fix it it is so puffed up with pride it thinks it knows it all because it has analytical it's reasoning and it's smart so it thinks it can fix your world and this is where you struggle once you get out of the analytical analytical mind you're going to get into and always remember this, you have to be a little delusional to create your world. Imagination is the best thing to get your reality. The universe, guys, is not logical. The Despite what we see about physics and everything, the other things we're learning, but the universe doesn't apply 
to what you really think or what you really know or say is supposed to be this. The universe is magical. It's illogical. Hence your subconscious mind. You have to be able to go into the illogical mind. You have to be able to dream big. You have to be able to be a little delusional. And you have to be able to let go and have fun in the process. That's how things are coming your way. Things are not going to come in your way if you're logical, if you're structural, if you're trying to figure out how or when or see the route of how it's going to come because you're cutting yourself and you're selling yourself short. You're limiting your potential to create. You have an infinite mind. Infinite mind, infinite probabilities, infinite possibilities, infinite dimensions. Allow it to work for you. How do you use your infinite mind? Start with your imagination. Repeat the process. Create the critical mass. Don't figure out how or when. Boom! It comes into your world. Got it? I'll see you again uh, with some more questions next time. Thanks.